KFC is back in Korea to bring you one weapon of ass destruction. <laughs> See what I did there? So I got a request from Michael T to make this. At first I was like, what the hell is that? Looks like Salisbury Steak TV dinner meat. Then I realized it's from Korea. So if you ever seen the movie All Dogs Go to Heaven, well, they're really going here. Just kidding. Well, at least not mine. This bad boy was made with authentic Walmart grade 8020 ground beef. JP wants me to make this zinger double down thingy. I don't condone the sandwich, by the way. I definitely condone it. Grab some seasoned flour. If you can find this stuff, it tastes just like KFC. In another dish, pour in some buttermilk. And for whatever reason, Julia wanted to use all of the one pound of chicken breast meat. So we're rocking out two half pound patties. These hands cook everything on this channel. Now dredge the chicken in buttermilk and then toss it into your flour. Use a spoon until the chicken is fully coated. Then flip and then pat on some more flour. Once you're done, toss these in your freezer for a few hours to firm up. In the meantime, let's cook some bacon. The awesome thing about bacon is that you can have it sit out for hours, even days. It tastes just as good, if not better then coming right off the grill. Actually, you should not let bacon sit out for days. That's kind of disgusting. That's false. Bacon is good all the time. Zinger sauce. I don't know, these sauces all taste the same to me. So I just mixed some horseradish sauce, that's really hard to say, ketchup, Tabasco, cayenne, and mayo. Say hi, Mr. Pig. No. So we hand pressed about one pound of meat, uh, which is kind of unnecessary and lightly seasoned it with some salt and pepper. Grease up a cast iron pan with grill marks. Doesn't that girl look awesome? I got it for JP for his birthday. Awesome girlfriend, right? You're the best, and she is the best, because after about five minutes per side, this thing came out perfect. Oh, look at that. This is not safe for work, people. It hasn't been quite two hours, but I took my patties out of the freezer, and then I grabbed some cornflakes and crumbled them up into our flour mixture. Why am I using cornflakes? They try to make it look like this. It's probably not cornflakes. Just like before, we're gonna dip into our buttermilk and now into our cornflake flour mixture. Since these patties were obnoxiously large, we couldn't use my deep fryer. So instead, we're going to pan fry these with some vegetable oil instead. Due to the magnitude and size, it took six minutes per side to be fully cooked through. And since our pan could only fit one chicken patty, we were pretty much bored for 24 minutes. And again, due to the size, we layered on three slices of pepper jack cheese, and to melt it, we microwaved this for 30 seconds. Spread on a layer of that zinger sauce, add our burger patty, four bacon strips, drizzle on some barbecue sauce, and top with another half pound chicken patty. Are you trying to stay away from eating too much bread? Well, this should be the perfect substitute. Now we have this monstrosity, which I am on. This is uh, JP Diet uh, Day 15, if you're watching my vlog. JP Diet, down the drain. This isn't breaking my diet because I'm not gonna eat this. I'm just gonna have one bite for the health of it. Don't let JP kid you. He ate the whole sandwich. That's false. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it tastes like KFC chicken. It's so good. <laughs> next time on Healthy Junk Food, we're taking Hamburger Helper to the next level. Julia, give me the ground beef. Here you go, Tom. This is raw. Yeah, because you didn't cook it. I'm trying to help Julia out as much as I can, but JP's freaking out and that's not helping anything. This is up. Hamburger Helper. It is important. I'm not just going to give up. I'm not. Because it wasn't cooked. I don't know if there'll be enough time. Is there anything more cliche than this f***ing video JP's making me do? Find out what happens next time on Get Over Here Healthy Junk Food. The good chef, chef.